Shattercock, I for Jerry Line. All right, so look. So I've been working on this this Smith. The Smith came in completely as bird poop. <laughs> I'm tell you what that is, cause I had it sitting outside. I ain't even. But look, look down the neck of this thing. So the fretboard was off. Um, it came in. It was absolutely horrifically horrible. All right, so what you're looking at right now is a pool. I call it a pool. All right, the bridge is not correct. All right, it's the correct bridge, but the saddles are not correct. You can look and tell they not that not even close. But look how straight this neck is, all the way down. Even in even if the saddles are wrong, the neck is still straight, and I got a hard pull on it. I have a really hard pull on it. And it's it's not it's not being disobedient. <laughs> that is a great way to say that. So my thing is, I was going to, um, I was going to um, clear coat this base, but in my spirit, I feel like God is telling me not to do all that because the base has mojo. I had to get the old. If you saw my video at first. I had to get the old um, shellac or polyurethane off it or coating off it because it stunk so bad. If you look, this base has a, had a lot of damage. Um, the fretboard was coming apart here, cracked here. Um, a couple places up here. Um, the fret was coming out of here. The neck and the fretboard was separated. They were actually, the, the board was actually coming off. It didn't have a nut on it. That's the incorrect nut. If you can look at that, this nut is totally incorrect. That nut right there, this nut is totally incorrect. So, um, and I, you know, I had to, I had to keep moisturizing and I'm going to tell you, just like I said, moisturizing and it's not even moisturizing. It, I had to use WD-40 and actually automobile nut buster to get that, get that truss rod to turn. Now it's turning completely freely. I'm good with that. Um, on the back of the base, let's turn it over. Um, all of this was separated. All of this was separated when I got the base. Right now, this is this is what you call a trial period. I could have put every one of the tuners on and let it have a complete pool, but if I just put two on and if it ain't going nowhere, then I know I'm I'm in the ballpark. So. I had to sand all of this off, off the neck. It's a, it's a BT Custom. I don't know what year it is. Uh, since it's a big headstock, I'm thinking anywhere between the 80s and the 90s. 80s and 94, 95. But, um, and all of this was coming apart. You can see it was cracked here all the way through. I had to glue all that up. I'm going to take and repowder this here. But... Um, you can see that the, the neck and stuff was, was separating, uh, pretty much not separating, but it was in bad shape. So I'm going to get some 400 and finish all of this up. And then when I finish all this up, basically that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to, I'm not going to clear coat it where it'd be nice and pretty and shiny and stuff like that. I want to hear the mojo. I truly believe this base has mojo and not only a little bit mojo, it has a lot of mojo, but check this out. I don't know if a lot of you guys know who this is because I personally don't. Um, but this was on the base. Rob Bacon or Bacon or Beacon, Rob Beacon or Bacon. My understanding of this base has a lot of mojo. When I say a lot of mojo, um, my understanding was a lot of hits in the studio. Um, a lot of um, a lot of hit songs came from this base. So that's why I don't want to sit there and cut and cover her up and choke her in. And I'm not really choking her in, but I don't really want to put a lot of clear coat on. I just want it. I just wanted to basically um, moisturize her uh, with some oil. And that's it. That's that's all I want to do. Oh, I got to get the bird poop off. <laughs> I definitely got to get the bird poop off. Uh, before I do all that, but she's going through another sanding 
one more sanding not a lot of light sanding just enough to get the rough edges off like right here that's pretty rough all right get that off smooth it out and then make sure that um which i know my glue is is not trying to come through again because all of this were buckled up buckled out or buckled buckled up like this instead of being straight it was buckled up so i had to break it i had to actually break the whole head and then put it back together thank you god <laughs> for helping me you know, we claim we know a lot of stuff i don't know a lot of stuff i just trust god but anyway um so once i get through all this and I, i'm pretty sure this base will probably be ready for me to play sunday which i hope so that'll be so cool so i gotta i gotta make another note another note another nut and i have a brass nut that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna begin to work on in a little bit where is it oh it's right here so i got this brand new brass nut see it right there you can't see it it's right there so i have to cut that and shape it and then cut the cut the sleeves in it also the base was so was so rusted out that I had to take the um, poles out of the pickups and actually put them in a solution and let them soak. They've been soaking for over a week now. And I'm, I'm pretty sure by Friday, I'll probably, today is Tuesday, by Friday, I'll probably put this pickups back together and stuff. So far, she she's not moving if you look down the neck she's not moving she's straight on both sides this is the trouble side this is the base side and i got some serious pressure on this look that's some serious pressure i can tighten up a little bit more see that's waving other side she's still straight so i'm gonna let it sit like this for like a uh, half a day in the sun um once i set it outside in the sun and watch the strings are on it if that neck gonna do anything if that neck gonna do anything it's gonna do it out there in that sun so shout out to Gaga, folks <laughs> i'm working on my custom um my BT Custom Ken Smith that I purchased. And, um, you know, I'm truly believing God that this is going to be amazing. And it's going to continue on making many, 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 many more hits. Other than that, uh, my boy's on punishment in case y'all didn't know. Check it out. Look down on the floor. Ain't no need for you to hide. You see what he's doing, right? Ain't no need for you to hide, bro. Time for you to go to work. You've been gone for what? Three months now? So vacation is over. Time to go to work. <laughs> A job. Once again, folks, shout out to Kaka. John Lee Long. Peace out.